Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will create an Express API which will allow us to do a file upload on AWS S3 and also we can track the progress of the file upload. So without any further ado, let's begin. To begin with, I got an Express project and also the Vue 3 project. So this is the same project that I used for the link preview video that I just created like last week. And I'll be using the same API from there, the Vue project from there. But to begin with, we need AWS account and we need an S3 bucket. Now here, I'll create a bucket. So I'll call this like Express API or you can name it anything you like, doesn't matter. Then here you have two options, whether you want the ownership. So all objects in this buckets are owned by this account. So ACS disabled, this is recommended, so we'll keep that. Then we'll block all public access. Then we have server-side encryption, all good. And here everything is good and we just create that bucket. So once we create the bucket, oops, uh, we missed something. I think the bucket with same name already exists. So we'll just say express API bucket. Let's see if this works. So we got the bucket over here. Now we will need, we need to create an IAM user because we will need the API keys like secrets, access ID key and region and all those things. So we will need that. But for the region, we will have EU West 2. So I'll just grab it from here, go to my .env file and just put that over here in the region. Bucket name is Express API Bucket. So that's gonna be this name over here. Then we will just go to IAM. I will open this in a new tab. And here we just need to create a user. So I'll just create a user. So here we will go to users, create user. I'll call it Express API user. You can name it again, anything you like. Then I will attach the policies and I will say S3 full access full access, this one over here. And we just said next, create user. And then we just need the credentials. So if we just click on this, uh, this one over here, and if we just look for credentials, so create access key over here, we could run on AWS compute service or it could be third party service. For now, I will just say third party application service that monitor or manages your AWS resources. So even if it goes over there, that's fine. Next, okay, understand, next. Then the tag value, I'll just create the access key straight away. So this is the access key. So I'll just grab it over here and I will put it over here. And that's the secret. So this is the secret. So we'll just copy the secret and the secret will go over here. Great, so we got the access key secret. We got the access key, we got the region, bucket name, all good. We just say done. Now I'll go back to S3 over here look for the bucket, so this is the bucket. Then here, I will open the bucket first, like this, and then in the permissions, I need to create a bucket policy so that I can allow upload through that API secrets and all those things, like through these users, because now this my Express API is the user. So I'll edit the policy, I will use the policy generator, that's much easier. So here, I will use the S3 bucket policy, allow principle, is this one over here. So I'll copy this, paste this over here. Then we got S3, all services, actions. I will just say all actions are allowed. Uh, resource name, so this would be S3 bucket name, something like this. So here I will just copy this S3 ARN and put this over here. And I will add the statement and I will generate the policy and there is the policy. So I'll copy the policy and just paste it over here. Save changes, perfect. So now we got our S3 bucket set up and let's move to the code part. Now let's see the code. So let's start with our view side. So here I have a file upload view component, which is just a page component. And I have just made that configuration within the router that we got here, the upload path and the component over here. So in, in other words, that when we visit that upload route, we see this component over there. Now within that file upload view, I got the file input and the progress bar. So the file input is a basic file input with some additional classes just to make it fancy with an event. So whenever there is an input, we have this handle file upload so that it will emit an event of upload with the file that is being uploaded. So currently I'm just accepting one file, but if you want multiple files, you can accept multiple files, not a problem. Then we go over here. So whenever the file is input, input change, then we have this upload event triggered and we got the upload file function running over here. Progress bar is a simple progress bar over here and we'll pass that as a prop 
to that component. Now, bringing this two component over here, we have two states or two reactive values, which is loaded and message. So how much file has been uploaded and what's the message that we get from the server. Now here we got the upload file function. So first we got the form data, then we append the file to form data. We need to send it as a form data, otherwise it may not work. If you have additional fields, like let's say name or avatar image URL, or maybe you want to send another things with file, then you have to just append those keys as a file form data keys over here. Now here I'll be using server side events so that I can server sent event, sorry, so that I can keep track of the progress. So the server is gonna trigger the event and then we will get the details of that file upload progress. Now the problem here is that event source only listens to get request and our file upload is a post request. So here we got an separate express API, which is upload progress, which will send the server sent events and we can just listen to those events using that ES. So this is the object on message, we have a function and then whatever uh, details we get, let's say we get the progress, we just calculate the progress. So in that we get the event data, within that we got the how much is uploaded and what's the total size in 200, we got the loaded percentage. If the URL, if the upload is complete, we'll get the URL and we'll close the event source and then again, we'll close the event source again. So here we close the event source once the file is uploaded. Now here, we have the actual fetch function which sends the file to the server. So let's go to the server. So here I have two routes. So this is for file upload, which is the post route. And this is the get method with for the event request, sorry, event source. So this will send the server sent events and this will upload the file. So I have the controller over here. Within this, I got these two variables, which are just the, as I'm using object-oriented programming, it's much easier to handle this using object-oriented programming. So I got the S3 and uploader. So here with S3, I'm just initializing the S3 object with the access key and other details that have put in the .env file. And now as I'm using Express that this context may get lost because Express behaves a little bit weird over here. So that's why we just need to make sure that whatever function is gonna use this pointer, we bind that using this function dot bind and just bind that this pointer. So to two, the, two of these functions, which is upload function and upload progress, we bind that this pointer. Now here, the upload function is actually responsible for uploading our file. So here we have got request response. Then we got the formidable from there. So that because the requ request we are gonna get, it's gonna be like JSON as well as there will be file. So to make sure that it gets parsed correctly, we use formidable, it's much easier with that. We have the incoming form, so we get the form. Now this is actually for testing, so I can remove this. Now on that form, there is a parse function, which takes in the request and errors and a callback, which has error fields and files. So fields will be whatever extra fields that you have passed in that form. And that could be the name, that could be the email, whatever. So I've just consoled that. So in case if you pass, you might see those. And the files will be whatever files are passed. Now, if there is any error, we just send back the error, maybe just invalid request. And this would be again, a just a response sent, so that's fine. Here, we got the parameters, so we got the bucket, we got the key key is within that bucket in which folder we want to upload this file. So I want to upload this file in the uploads folder with the file name, whatever the file name is. And then we need the body, which will be the file content, so we can use the FS module, which is a built-in Node.js module. There we got the create read stream, and we just need to pass the pa file path, which is gonna be the temporary path, and it will create the buffer and that buffer will be the body or you could consider in simple languages as the file content. I have this uploader object here in this uploader, I'm gonna assign this dot S3, which is this S3 module over here. So S3 object within that, I got the upload function and I'm just gonna pass these parameters. And then I'm just gonna send back the response to the client, which is the view client or view just project saying that, okay, the file upload has initiated. Now here I have the upload pro uploader progress, which is the function responsible to send the server sent event. So I first need to s keep it more like a change the uh, headers, response headers. So I'm gonna keep the content type of text event stream because it's gonna be a stream. I'm gonna keep the connection live so that it doesn't cut off. Not gonna cache anything. And now using this uploader over here, we know this uploader knows that, okay, this is the file that is being currently uploaded. So we got, on method on it and there is an event which is HTTP upload progress. 
So to that, we pass this callback, which has the event object. And within that, we have the event loaded and event total. So how much is uploaded and how much is the total size of that file. And we pass this progress object as a server sent event stream. And we say that, okay, this is the data because the, the server sent event generally sends the string. So we have the data and then this is the actual data, which is the progress, which is the JSON string. Show you on the file upload view component. Here we have that event listened to. We get the data. So we just need to definitely make sure that it starts with data colon. Otherwise it won't be able to understand that. Okay, that's the data for this event. And then within that, there is a progress object. So this over here, progress object, there we go. So that's gonna parse that prog progress object JSON string and automatically we'll get the data dot progress. And there we can calculate the progress because there we got loaded and total. So going back over here, loaded and total, perfect. And then we also need to send the URL once the file is uploaded because S3 is gonna give us the URL and we can use that URL to show that video, if it's a video file image, whatever it is. So we just need to send the URL. So the message will be if there is, if there is an, an error, if there is an, an, an any error, it will throw an error, error message, maybe connection lost or policy control or whatever error it is, it will throw an error. Otherwise it will send a location of that URL. Now this is our server sent event and that will be listened using this event source over here. So let's give this a try. So I got the file over here. So I have the video. So I'll just use this movie video. So file upload initiated. And now it should start the progress bar soon. So if I just see, there you go. So the progress bar over there and there we go. Perfect. We can also send like change this message after the percentage or the progress is 100%. We can send say that, okay, the file upload is successful. That's all in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing with your network, please do share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel and haven't joined our Discord community, please do subscribe to our channel and also please do join our Discord community. So see you in the next video. Till the next time, goodbye.